Hey, Survivor. Welcome to episode 36 of the Vibrant Survivor podcast. Today, we're going to talk about three triangulation tactics of a narcissistic parent. I know the damage that narcissistic parents can do when they demonstrate this toxic behavior. So in case you missed it growing up, here are three examples. Triangulation has no place in a family, inner, or other social circle. So if you're ready to set the record straight, grab a paper and pen, and let's dive in. Hey, Survivor. Welcome to the Vibrant Survivor Podcast. Do you want to disconnect from a narcissistic or toxic situation and heal? Are you Googling how to identify a narcissist, narcissistic abuse, and boundaries? Are you feeling stressed and lonely while trying to avoid being sucked back in and lied to again? Hey, I'm Leslie. As a busy wife and mom, I fell for the lies and manipulations of narcissists. I wasted my time, talents, and money on users who kept moving the goalposts. I wanted real relationships and business opportunities and to enjoy life with my family. Instead, I struggled with anxiety, panic attacks, and insomnia, and I couldn't trust my body or anybody until I took a holistic approach to healing. In this podcast, you'll find tips for healthy living, trauma healing, and boundaries so that you'll have the freedom, confidence, and inner peace to respond, not react, after narcissistic abuse. Take a deep breath in, let it out slowly, and just relax this time's for you. Have you signed up to become a Vibrant Survivor Insider? Click the link in the show notes to join. I remember fixing dinner for my family as a child while my mom was attending night school to get her master's. And this was one of the things that I did to help her out so that she could accomplish her goal and advance in her career. That being said, she left me her recipes written out and instructions for ingredients and which dish to use and cooking or baking so that I could follow the steps and replicate her meals. After one of those dinners, I remember her coming home from school late at night and my dad pitting me against her with statements like, hers tastes better than yours. And I remember feeling so awkward between pleasing and appeasing my dad and just feeling the shock and horror of watching him tear down my mom in front of me and feeling really conflicted on what to do because he was very intimidating on the one hand, but I felt the injustice of his rude, disrespectful comments towards my mother and didn't know how to handle it as a young child. And this wouldn't be the only incident I experienced. Here are three triangulation tactics of a narcissistic parent. Number one is comparing a spouse with an outsider. And the outsider could be an ex, or it could be a celebrity. And but someone outside of the family outside of the marriage. And this is something that can spark jealousy or feelings of insecurity. It's almost like it's supposed to provide some kind of toxic motivation for the spouse to change, but it doesn't. And it's very manipulative. Number two, pitting one child against another child. This is really sad because it undermines the relationship between two children who should be close and building a bond over time that will carry them into adulthood and through life. And instead the narcissistic parent uses this competition that they create between children to themselves feel better. It may be also for bragging rights or to ride the coattails of, say, a child who has achieved or accomplished something that they 
secretly wish that they had. It's very, very destructive to relationships, especially among siblings. And number three, devaluing a spouse in front of a child. This is very disrespectful. It's awkward. It can be very scarring, very traumatizing, and it can cause the child to question their loyalty, especially to the disrespected parent, the target of the narcissistic parent's abuse. Not okay. Let's recap three triangulation tactics of a narcissistic parent. Number one, comparing a spouse with an outsider. Number two, pitting one child against another child. Number three, devaluing a spouse in front of a child. Narcissistic triangulation leads to relational strangulation. If this podcast has helped you understand who and what you're dealing with, sharpen your discernment, and move forward on your healing journey, share it with another survivor. Help me help others by leaving a review for the show. And let's connect on social. Take a screenshot, share it in your IG stories, find and tag me at The Vibrant Survivor, and I'll share your post too. I look forward to connecting with you on IG and seeing you back here. You're not alone and you're not crazy. Know who you're dealing with, know who you are. Take care and I'll meet you back here next week. Bye-bye.